Hello, welcome back to my studio. This is our final project for our Sweet Summer Smooches class. Today we're going to make this little card. You can do it for any kind of springtime card. You could do a Happy Birthday, Happy Mother's Day, Happy Easter. This technique is called Brand Resist and we're going to stamp on glossy white paper. So I've cut a piece of glossy white paper that is just like a quarter of a sheet and then you're going to your regular for your standard card which is five and a half by eight and a half of the daffodil delight and then you'll need a couple scraps of accenting colors we're back at our big shot for this project we're going to emboss with the starburst embossing folder which was in the holiday mini but it's still available I found that this is so deeply etched that I would normally run this through on the Big Shot on tab one, but I'm actually going to open it to no tabs for this particular embossing folder. You're going to place the front of your card, your card front, into your folder like this, and then you're going to sandwich it between your two cutting pads and just run that through your Big Shot. As you can see, this is going to give us an, a lovely embossed image. It's just going to give us texture because these starbursts accentuate the smooth, glossy finish on the glossy cardstock. This is your top note die. I'm going to place my glossy side down and my second cutting pad and just run that through. We're going to use the Fifth Avenue Floral Stamp Set along with our Jet Black Stays On ink. Go ahead and stamp your images. Let's do the rose. I always like to do the bigger image first. Stamp. You don't want to move it because this is a smooth, slippery surface, so you want to go straight down and straight up when you're stamping. Let's give the smaller flower. And just one more. Let's do this lily. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Now we're ready for our technique. You need to steal from your children's crayon pack, a white crayon. Yep, that's right, a white crayon. We're just going to accentuate, and you're not going to be able to see this very well, but I'm just coloring along some of the edges of the leaves, giving it that white highlight. And let's give some highlights to our blue flower. And also to our lily. I like to start with my lighter colors first, so I'm going to use my Daffodil Delight. Now you can squeeze and get some ink in your lid, or you can use your re-inkers and put a puddle here, or you can put it on a little tray. But you want to pick that up with your Aqua Painter and begin painting your flower, and you're going to notice that this ink will just slide around on this glossy paper. So you will have to give it just a little bit more time than you normally would on regular cardstock, but it's so worth it. Can you see how it's resisting where I've add, applied my crayon? So it's giving it pretty highlights. The rose I actually did in two colors. This is Tangerine Tango and Real Red. I'm going to first apply my Tangerine Tango and then apply our red right over top. That The Tango is just going to give it just a little bit of an underlying accent. You can keep adding your ink um, depending on how dark or light that you want it. The, the Aqua Painter is just filled with water so that you can refill that. 
and you notice how it's give that's what's giving us that watercolor look you'll notice that the red is diluted normally the island indigo would be quite dark this is so quick you just feel so artistic you just need a little bit of an accent so you can I'm just going to take my lucky limeade marker and do a little bit of the details so choose a couple of your accent colors this one I use the Island Indigo and the Daffodil Delight I think I'm going to use the Daffodil Delight and the Lucky Limeade on this one I love how Stampin' Up! has matching color accessories I have a little piece of ruffled Lucky Limeade ribbon so it'll be real easy to add that little accent just put it all together you may want to pop this up with a couple of dimensions. Yes, that's just beautiful. Thanks for shopping at Stamping Country, and have a fabulous day.